And uh, we've got a call, um, a call from Numpumelelo, and she's asked that um, I look at finding the coordinates of a point when a figure is given, as well as to find um, whether the figure turns out to be a rectangle or not. So that's what I'll be focusing on. What is given is the following. A is the point 1, 3, and I've already sketched the figure in terms of the given points, where the scale is just 1, 2, 3 on this Cartesian plane. And the same thing here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, point B is a point 2, 4. C is a point that's not given. And D is the point 5, negative 1. Notice that I haven't gone A, B, um, maybe C out here and then D because we label a parallelogram in clockwise, uh, clockwise notation. So it's A, B, C, D. Clockwise or anti-clockwise, so we don't crisscross. And it is given that it's a parallelogram, so I'm going to fill in the most important feature of a parallelogram would be that its definition is that the sides are parallel. So those sides are parallel. Uh, C I don't know, and D is the point 5, negative 1. Now, the two questions I mentioned was, firstly, what are the coordinates of C? And secondly, um, show that the figure, that A, B, C, D, is a rectangle. Right, we seem to have uh, overcome the difficulty in trying to get Numpumelelu. Hello, hey. Numpumelelu. Hello. Welcome to the show. Yes. And uh, Numpumelelu, can I call you Mpumi? Yes. <laughs> Good, because it's very long to ask you these questions. So thank you that I can use a shortened version. Okay, the yes. first question is to find out what the coordinates of C are. And yes. this is quite a, a, a sort of a standard question in, in coordinate geometry where we're given four coordinates and we've got to determine the coordinates of C. Now, just to speed up this process, if we work with the parallel lines, these uh, B, C, and A, D, these parallel lines, what can you tell me as a result of knowing that those two lines are parallel? Uh, if lines are parallel, gradient one is equal to the other gradient. Brilliant. The gradient of the one is equal to the gradient of the other. Okay. Yes. So we'd have two gradients that are equal, and we'd have another two gradients that are equal, and we'd have two yes. equations, and you could solve for those two variables. So you yes. certainly can work around the gradients as well as if this line is equal to that line, because that's a property of the, of the parallelogram, is that the opposite sides are equal. So I could also work with the fact that those distances of BC and AD are equal to each other. So I could also work with that. But I want to investigate perhaps a shortcut, one of the properties that we forget about, and that is that if I draw the diagonals, if I draw this diagonal in the parallelogram, and I draw that diagonal. What do those two yellow lines do? Do you know what those yellow lines, do you know what the property is of those two yellow lines? No. Those two yellow lines are the diagonals. And the diagonals bisect each other. They cut each other in half. Yes. Did you know that? Yes. Okay, but when I asked you what do the diagonals do, you didn't know. <laughs> so you now know, okay? So the diagonals, they bisect each other, which makes this point over here, this point P, what would point P be in relation to A and C? What's special about point P on the segment AC? It's a midpoint. Lovely, great. It's the midpoint of a, C. So therefore, I could work out P because I've got B and I've got D. B is the point 2, 4 that's been given. So I can work out the midpoint. So I can say the diagonals of the palm, they bisect each other. Yes. Right, which you've now found out, Mpumi. So therefore, 
we have P is the midpoint. Yes. Right? I can work out what the midpoint is. I can say that P's coordinates are the sum of those two. So it's 5 plus 2 is 7 over 2. And yes. 4 minus 1 is 5. Yes. Okay, so P is just 7 over 2 and 5 over 2. So that's the coordinates yes. of the midpoint. But now P is also the midpoint of AC. Yes. So the formula there would be P, 7 over 2, 5 over 2, is also equal to the other two segments, which would be X plus 3. Let me just check what that point is. A is the point 1, 3. So it's x plus 1. The sum of your x is divided by 2. And yes. the y would be y plus 3 over 2. Yes. Okay? Yes. Now, Mpumi, for me to get 7 from x plus 1, what must x equal? X. Uh, will be negative 1. No, no. Listen carefully. I want x plus 1 to equal 7. What must x equal to? Yeah, I have no idea. What plus 1 will give you 7? What How? plus 1 gives you 7? Oh, okay. Yeah. x equals? 7. X equals 7. No, 7 plus 1 is 8. It's 8. So I must give 6. X equals 6. Yes. Okay. And yes. what will Y equal to? Y plus 3 plus must give me 5. Actually, this must give me 3 here. I'm just looking at my error over here. That should be 3. Okay. Whoopsie. Wrong pen. So... That's 3 over 2. So I must actually get a 3 over here. What plus 3 gives me 3? Nothing. Oh. Okay. So the coordinates of C is the point 6, 0. Yes. All right. Now the second question was to determine, to show that A, B, C, D is a rectangle. Now, yes. you know that the definition of a rectangle, a rectangle, the definition, is that it is a palm. It has to be a palm with one interior angle equal to 90. So if we can find a 90 degree, then it will be a rectangle. And how do we find right angles in, in coordinate geometry? Fumi? Yellow. How do we find 90 degree angles in coordinate geometry? No, I have no idea at all. Okay, you find them by using the gradients. Remember you said earlier that if the lines are parallel... Uh, the yes. gradients are equal. Now you're going to look at the gradient of AB. Okay. Yes. You're going to work that out. You're going to work out the gradient of AD. You're going to work that out. And then you're going to take the gradient of AB and you're going to multiply it by the gradient of AD. You're going to take the product of those two gradients. And oh. when you take the product, and if it comes out as negative 1, it's then then the lines will be perpendicular, which will give us a 90 degree angle. What oh, is? Okay, so I want you to go and finish this question. I want you to take the gradient of AB, I want you to do the great gradient of AD, I want you to see what you get, multiply them. If you get negative one, you've got a 90 degree, you've got a rectangle. Okay, Mpumi? Yes. Okay, that's all we have time for. Thank you for calling um, on tonight's show. Make this frequency clear. Make this frequency clear.